Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Thursday, July 18. Equities took a little bit of a tumble yesterday, trading 29.79 right now. Looks like we're on this trip down to 29.45, uh, sort of fill this gap. Uh, we left some offers at 95 last night. They did not get done. Um, we will be selling high ones today. Looks like now somewhere between uh, 86 and 90 uh, we'll be selling equities. See how the story goes and see how the story looks. CAD Yen, uh, nice little breakdown. One, two, three, four, five. Daily lows here at 82.66. Traded down to 45. Core short CAD yen. Another way to express risk off today. Uh, we like this CAD yen lower. Dollar yen was obviously the uh, mover that was dragging CAD yen down to 64. It doesn't really get interesting until you get down through 107.50. Um, but we'll just have to see um, see if we can muster the energy today. We don't have a lot on the calendar. We got UK retail sales. We got Philly Fed unemployment claims. We do have Williams from the FOMC speaking tonight, 8.15 Swiss time. But we're just going to have to see if this thing can muster some strength. Um, keep an eye on rates, which have gone down. Um, Ten year now is um, ten year now is two o four. Speaking of ten year, it's not great for our short ZN position. Trading up at 16 and a half. Um, we kind of just have to kill this thing above above 20. Shame, but um, just couldn't get any energy on the downside. We'll see how things go today, but this one isn't looking great. And we want to be disciplined here, so just make sure uh, if you are short um, to follow your plan stop out uh, as planned. Let's go to Dollar Cad. I don't know why, but we kind of like this one higher. 130.93 now, triple top up there. Um, we're on this Cad Yen trade, so there's a little bit of bias in this. But we have two very big levels on the top side, 130.93 and then even more important, 131.45. We do have uh, ADP non-farm employment change in Canada today. This usually is not a big mover, um, but it's worth watching. 2.30 today, Swiss time. Obviously, it's going to move our CAD yen, so we'll be watching that. But we're also watching this dollar CAD to see if they, this thing can get some energy um, on the top side. Aussie employment last night. Um, Obviously, not much happened. This is the one minute. Let's see. Down to 70, 60, 70, 06. And then up to 70, 26. Um, I haven't even looked at uh, what the results were. 9K. Um, but obviously in line or slightly better. What's interesting about this is we have this technical level, 70.50, which is worth thinking about. Back to our dailies. We've been sitting here just treading water now, three highs, uh, 70.45, 70.50 area. Should be some risk above that. So let's just keep that in mind. See if we can 
to scratch some cash through that 7050 level. Dollars are still long here. Very, very slow. Uh, very, very tedious. Yesterday, uh, we got given some 9560. Did not get given 9520s. Um, here we are. O2 the high last night. We do expect this thing to break this 04 high and at least test up to uh, 1410 today. This whole risk off um, breeze should um, take its toll on the ZAR today. Finally, let's look at gold. Rates lower, risk off, or back topside gold. Uh, we did make it through this pennant here, which we did not trade yesterday. Looks like we should have, but the death knock down here is 1418. Um, we talked about this 1440 level last week. This is very, very important, 1442. And if this risk off starts turning into something uh, more interesting, gold could easily take off. So pay attention uh, up at 1440 in gold. Otherwise, as you can see on the on the on the list here, pretty muted overnight. Um, we're going to be playing this core short CAD yen today. We're going to be long dollars are. I guess we'll probably look to pick up some gold uh, down at 18 if it is available. And we will be disciplined with our stops in ZN. This one looks like a loser in the end, uh, which is a shame. But such is life in uh, in the trading world. You win some, you lose some. All right, CAD yen and dollars are is our focus today. Good luck out there, people. I will uh, see you all tomorrow. Ciao.